Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my bullet journal and how I use it as a college student. So I'm gonna be going through the main categories of pages that I have because there are some pages that I tend to repeat a lot and I think might be really useful to you. And then I'm gonna be showing you how I plan my weekly spread. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started. So this is the bullet journal that I use. It's a moleskin journal that I got from Amazon. I will link it in the description down below. But what I really like about it is that on the inside flap, it has this like folder pocket thing. So I can store my mini ruler and then some like paper scraps in there. It's super lightweight and I used to keep this in my backpack all the time. The pages are kind of thin and a little bit transparent. So I know that a bullet journal that a lot of people use is the Leuch term. And I think that's the one that I'm gonna be purchasing next. One common misconception about bullet journals is that you have to have like all these fancy supplies. But when I first got my bullet journal, I just used a pen and like some highlighters that I had. Just know that you don't need these fancy supplies to have your bullet journal. So I just got 48 fine point drawing pens from Amazon. They're just these really fine tipped markers and they have tons of different colors, but this is what I use for like really fine tip writing and you'll see that in a couple of the pages. Now these are the markers that I use the most. They're the Zebra Mild Liner Creative Markers and you will see also that I have a swatch page of these, but I love these markers so much. I'm just obsessed with them. So like honestly, I would even just buy these over the fine tip ones. Like these ones are great. Next I have the Stay Below Ball original highlighters these are like super trendy in the bullet journal community these are really really pretty highlighters and honestly they're just good quality like they don't bleed through the pages too much they're very vibrant and bright and bulky and they're just so cute and I want to get them in more colors so yeah really love these next I know I've talked about this before in my what's in my backpack video um, these are just these pens from this apartment at Yukon and these are the pens that I use every single day for writing and when I'm not using those pens I use the pilot g207 this is the pen that I've been using since sophomore year of high school I'm very picky about my pens but I love the pilot pens and the g207 is my absolute favorite I also have this super fun circle maker so so if you look up close, you'll see that you can just like put the pen into those little holes and then you just it's so much fun. The circle maker is really cool. It was just like a little fun thing that I asked for for Christmas and it makes drawing circles way easier and it's just so fun to use, so I love this. The other pen that I use the most that you'll see me using in this video is the Tombow Brushstroke Pen. I'll also link this down below. I got it from Amazon and it has this little tip here, but when you press it into the paper, the harder you press, the wider the line becomes. So it's kind of like a calligraphy pen. And what I do is just write it in regular cursive with a regular pen and then go on the downstrokes with the brushstroke pen and make it darker and look nicer. The last tool that I use is this little Westcott art ruler. Um, I know it's just a ruler and like obviously you can use just a straight edge for whatever, but I love this ruler so much. This comes in handy every single day. Like I seriously use it every day. Um, it has a cork back so it doesn't like slip around when you're drawing with it. And it's just the perfect size. It fits in my bullet journal pocket and I always just have a straight edge whenever I need it. So now that I showed you my supplies, I'm gonna get into showing you the categories of pages that I make that I use to track my entire life. <laughs> I love using mood trackers. First of all, they are so fun to make. And if you go on Pinterest, there is like a million different mood tracker styles and designs and creative things that people come up with and they can be so fun to make. And I find them really helpful because I can kind of use them as a way to remember that not every day is gonna be a good day. Like that's totally fine because with the ups and downs of life, you know, it's easy to see in front of you that Life is just about its challenges and difficulties, but that just makes the good days even better. So it keeps me in a positive mindset and that's just my little tidbit of advice for the day. I 
I used to be super big into workout calendars before we went into like coronavirus quarantine, but these are the workout calendars that I made for December, January, and February. You can see sometimes I didn't remember what I worked out, but I found that these helped me a lot in remembering what days I worked out certain muscle groups so that I wasn't overtraining one muscle group or doing too much cardio in a week or not enough strength training. And then, yeah, I really like these. I love lists. Like lists have always been so much fun for me and I find that making lists of things can really help me clear my mind of certain thoughts, especially if I have a lot of things on my head. So all of these little fun lists that I make in my bullet journal, half of them are silly, kind of like the Netflix tracker to see what episodes I've watched and how many seasons. But then I also make a lot of lists that are for productivity. So I make a lot of lists of all of my ideas for YouTube videos that I can make. And I have so many YouTube ideas lists and these help me when I'm kind of stuck in a rut. This is my swatch card of all of my mild liner pens that I told you about before. And then I have a couple little lists that are like treat yourself or things that I would like to purchase from like Sephora, my beauty wish list. And those are fun. Like I probably won't buy everything on the list, obviously. Um, and then I have highlight of my day. So similar to the mood tracker, the highlight of my day helps me remember the best parts of each day. And then here is my like quarantine, stay sane and goals. And these are just kind of some random lists that I put together. And then my gratitude list has been really important to me lately and I've been trying to make a lot more gratitude lists to remember the important things in life while we're kind of stuck here. And then these are just my recipes that I want to make while we're in quarantine or just honestly in general. I love making different recipes and baking. It's so much fun. Similar to lists, I love having trackers. So this is one of my habit trackers that I made where I wanted to make sure I was doing all of my habits every single day. I have a workout goals, that's more of a list. Um, but then I have food logs. So I just write down whatever I eat. And this is when I'm not counting calories. I just wanna have a better idea. Um, I have my Husky Thon tracker, so that's how I track all of the funds that I was raising. And then this is my sales tracker for like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, whatever you want to name it. On my anxiety page, I just write down times that I made it through like mini anxiety attacks and it helps me visualize it. And then this is my monetization and subscribers page filled out now so that's very exciting and then I have a new one to hit 10k subscribers and these kind of just keep me wanting to achieve more goals I guess with my YouTube channel this videos page is where I plan all of my videos for the year so I have raised some so that I don't want to spoil any surprises but I plan all my videos a couple weeks in advance um, this is an example of a study tracker where I was tracking what classes I was studying for for finals week and then this is an example of like a class tracker that I use to track a project The last category is weekly spreads. And I never used to do these, but now that I've kind of been at home like all the time, I figured that doing these weekly spreads will keep me accountable for each day that I'm kind of studying on my own at home and I don't have just regular course times to keep me accountable. So this makes sure that I am tracking my habits in the little tracker section and just keeping note of all of my deadlines, due dates, and everything that I have to do for the week. And then filling this out every Sunday kind of shows me what my week is gonna be like at a glance. So I've been trying to make a new weekly page every Sunday and then just write down whatever is due, the days that I have to watch certain lectures and yeah. Now this is the part where you get to plan with me. So this is me just I'm gonna be making one of my weekly spreads because it's Sunday. So this is the weekly spread for the fourth week of April and I'm counting as the fourth week even though the first week was like half of March. So I write out a mini calendar and then I write out a separate section for each day of the week. And I make these a little bit different every week. I wanted to use some cursive and these are the boxes where I'm gonna be writing all of the things that I have to do that day, whatever deadlines I have or whatever lectures I need to watch. That kind of just helps me see my day at a glance and what's in store. In this little goal section, I like to put what my main goals are for the week. 
And then up here I have my important deadlines that I need to hit. So those are like hard deadlines for big projects or tests that I need to remember instead of just like looking at it in my week at a glance. And then I have my habits tracker. So I always try to keep some form of a habits tracker on there just so that I'm holding myself accountable for the habits that I want to instill in my everyday life. And it gives just more of a visual aspect to it. And then once all of those main parts are done, I like to just put like a cute little doodle or drawing in there just to make it a little bit more artistic because my bullet journal is an artistic outlet for me even though it doesn't look super artistic, but it's just a fun way to be creative while also being productive, which is my favorite part of having a bullet journal, honestly. That is it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to say thank you for sticking around till the end. Shout out to last week's comment winner right here. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. You guys who comment down below make me so happy and I love connecting with you all. So don't forget to leave a comment, say hi to me, and until then I will see you guys soon. Love you. Bye.